<laughs> he's really doing an awesome job. Look, he's jumping over obstacles, but the cat can jump too, obviously. Whoa, he's coming. I thought he was the other way. No. What's up, friends? This is Money, and welcome back to the next War Robots test server with a new game mode called Cat and Mice. <laughs> uh, it says an asymmetrical skirmish, one powerful robot versus, like the cat, uh, versus four unarmed but mobile robots, the ma mice, uh, that can only win by avoiding the cat while capturing beacons. Uh, it doesn't affect the ratings, boosters are unavailable, uh, custom hangar, no drones, no pilots, no titans, no ships, no squads. So. In this case, I think it doesn't matter what pilot I may or what hangar I design. So we are, apparently we are uh, the cat and uh, the mice, and it seems like everybody else wants to be <laughs> uh, the cat, and that's why I jump out of the match. Okay, so we have to capture beacons, and one powerful robot will be the cat and will be trying to kill us. I'm assuming. That it's gonna be some kind of short range uh, thing. Oh, there's stealth on the cat. Cat can't be stealth. We have no weapons, by the way. We can't even fire. It reminds me a little bit. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. It's too too fast. I'm too slow. I can't fight back. Um, it reminds me a little bit uh, um, of the. Uh, humans versus spiders thing that we had. Yeah, the little Cossacks are like super slow. But in this case, we do have the teleports available. And look, this guy's doing a great job <laughs> at keeping the, uh, the cat busy. Doing exactly what a mouse does with a cat, running around, uh, running around obstacles. <laughs> and now, we have uh, teleports available, uh, but the thing is, it seems like, uh, yeah, it seems like the cat knows it too. And I'm not even sure if I'm faster running uh, the jump, because it seems like at first, uh, at first I gain speed in the jump. Oh no, he's already coming. Can I jump back? Okay. I got away. <laughs> um, it seems that like at first I gain speed in the jump, but then I hit like a wall and I slow down. And I don't know why this keeps uh, happening. This is something that I've seen many times on the uh, test server, no, on the live server as well, when playing with the Kozak. And I'm always confused why this happens. Because, um, you know, why do I not keep my speed momentum? Why do I basically bump into an invisible wall with the Cossack and lose my already small jump speed even more, right? It seems incredibly weird. <laughs> he's really doing an awesome job. Look, he's jumping over obstacles, but the cat can jump too, obviously. Whoa, he's coming. I thought he was the other way. No. Ah, okay, he's changing the direction. I didn't expect that. Ah, can I jump up there? Ah, yes, <laughs> bye. Woo, bye cat. You just had your jump a second ago. You're not going to have one for another couple of seconds. Dude, that is actually really fun. I did not expect this to be so much fun. And since, you know, we're just avoiding him and we have the beacons at the same time and we're we're more than one person one guy can keep him busy the other person is just gonna get the beacon in the meantime and you see we're having more beacons uh then uh yeah than he has so he can control two beacons here because they're very close together and wait what the heck he's jumping uh our our other mouse next to me. Oh, wait a minute. He's, he's got a different robot now. Okay. Whoa, dot effect. Okay, that changes things. He's actually managing to capture the beacon. 
You know, next uh, we are going to be the cat and we're gonna try and, ca uh, you know, get all the guys. It's just that I'm not sure how successful we can be. Uh, we both spawned here at the same place. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate. I hope he still has another robot. It doesn't look like he does have another robot now because he had the unfortunate uh, thing happen that he got he spawned right in front of him and now things change look now he's in control of most of the beacons and I'm having a hard time uh, just getting away from him and since this is I think the last robot I have I'm in trouble, yeah. Okay, so uh, in this case, the cat won. But it was close and it was only because we had one player not playing the game. We had two mouse mice and one cat. And it's supposed to be three. So let's see if we can be the cat. Okay, nope. So that's what, I think that's what people do. They want to play as the cat too. Um, and that's why they exit the ga game. Uh, but we here as a, as a content creator or for this channel, we also have to be able to show the other side. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a, a challenge. Wow. You know, it should be a three to one chance, right? Oh my goodness, I am actually finally the cat. It only took a hundred years. So let's try this. Hope that we even have a few mouse to play with, a mice. Um, so many of them are joining in and bailing out. I, jo I join in the uh, long range setup. We need at least two mice. If we have only one mice, uh, it's not going to work very well. Or mouse, <laughs> plural, uh, no plural for one. Mm. Look, I can already, huh? I don't have the range. Ah, there is two. Nice. Okay. Wait, why am I not dealing damage to him? Eh? I found a mouse, but I can't deal damage. Okay, let's see if this can deal damage to him. Do you know how long it took me to become the cat? The game is clearly playing. I can see every movement of every player. S exactly. I can even control my robot. I see three mouse mice now, and I could have a wonderful time in this match, but there is a button over the screen saying change hanger. Oh, I get I got it away. Look, I, I don't know what's going on. I can jump. What the heck? Okay. Whoa, now it works. But now the enemy is already, or all the mice are already controlling so many of the beacons. Okay, let's see if we can grill this guy real quick and then get him. That is weird. So I had a very, very interesting or unusual desync um, that basically prevented me from playing in the first few m seconds. Oh, nice jump, bro. Yo, in that final jump, he made it behind the cover. Not before, not after, but exactly in that final jump. Okay. The Auchun is so slow, it's unreal, man. Maybe I can hit him with uh, splash damage? No. Okay. But this is like... 1v1 now. Okay, got him. Because of the lockdown, uh, I have a lock uh, lockdown on it, but the weapon is not very good at range. So, 
I wonder what the other players have seen in the beginning of the match because it seems like they didn't see me where I actually was. It, it's it, as if it was so laggy and I was standing somewhere else. So yeah, now of course it's no longer fair. And there he goes. Yeah, with the lockdown, it's difficult for them. Uh, but normally, again, there would be three guys. And uh, with all three of them, it will be mm, very difficult for the cat to control all the beacons. It depends on the map. Um, and it depends on, yeah, how people play. I would imagine that a map like Valley would be really fun. Um, but yeah, so I think right now we, we won't be seeing a proper match played as a cat because everybody wants to be the cat. It seems to be impossible to become the cat. And when it does happen after a long time, um, then people will just do this uh, and they will be out of the match. And I understand because everybody wants at least once play the cat, you know, uh, and somehow it doesn't seem to be a three to one chance. It seems to be like a 30 to one chance, which makes no sense uh, to me. But um, yeah, so I wonder, would this game mode even have a chance at functioning on the live server this way? Um, unless they tie it to rewards to play as a cat, like really make interesting rewards for the um, for the cat and for the mice, and they get separate rewards. Maybe the mice, when they win, even get better rewards or something. I don't know. Uh, unless they do something like that, I wonder if this can function on the live server. But yeah, so guys, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video, and uh, have a great weekend. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.